feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend Hey, good morning, fams. How are you? Happy, fantabulous Saturday. It is Saturday, and I am loving it, but I'm a little sad because it means that the weekend is almost over. Um, we had a four-day week weekend this week. We had Thursday and Friday off because of the 4th of July um, holiday. So we had a four-day weekend and it felt amazing to just be able to get some stuff done in the house and relax a little bit. Right now I'm feeling some pain because I am on my cycle. <laughs> And I am feeling some major cramps and bloating and you probably don't even need to hear that. But I am just, uh, I'm loving the weather. It's beautiful out and just basking in the ambiance. <laughs> so I am headed to the bank and then to the grocery store to go get some food. Um, Daddy BZ has to go to evangelism this morning at church at about 10.30 um, and it's about an hour and 10 minutes away from our house so I have to go and get back in time so that he can leave in time and get there on time um, and then when he gets back I am going to, Caleb BZ and I are going to um, Target because I do have to pick up some stuff um, for the mudroom and for the rest of the house so I am so like I'm so grateful you guys you are absolutely amazing y'all are like the best subscribers on the planet okay all the love the encouraging words just the awesomeness the positive energy that you guys are sending out to me I'm sending it all back to you guys I love y'all so much thank you guys so much for you know just responding and commenting on all the videos y'all see I'm trying right I'm really trying to get pump all these videos out I'm really trying to go back to my daily um, vlogging or daily videos for you guys uh, because it's been a long time that I haven't done daily and I really absolutely love doing daily videos and vlogging and creating and all those things and I love to be able to have those content up for you guys also just for my personal you know um, use of just <clears throat> of just making videos and knowing that I can always go back and look at these videos and it's just I just love it so much but um, I'm really trying to pump out a lot of videos for you guys every single day if you don't get a video from me one day out the week or two days just know why you guys know the craziness that is my life but um, these four days that we had off has been amazing because I was able to pump out so many videos for you guys so I'm gonna try to keep that up because I do have some things that I'm working on in the house and wanting to show that to you sometimes I can't show it to you as I'm doing it because I have my kids especially Nyla and my camera is broken so I'm working with this camera right now that stops in the middle of the video so it's just it's a hot mess okay so I'm just really really your girl is trying but I'm going to do everything that I can to get some videos out for you guys I do want to do a kitchen organization video um, I'm gonna try to see if I can get that done today and um, upload it for you guys for tomorrow um, but if I don't get that up for tomorrow I definitely will get it up for Monday but I just wanted to stop and say hi, good morning. Hope you guys are having a blessed morning. And yeah, so I'm gonna take you guys on the road with me and let's get cracking. Let's go guys. Won't you sing out your frustration? Just say a word. Staring at the pavement, God knows who hurt. Said what 
I am here at Walmart now, you guys, and I'm hopefully going to get some groceries. I'm not really getting a lot of stuff. I'm just getting breakfast. I'm just getting breakfast, and it feels so weird to pick up a camera and walk with the camera. I haven't done this in a long time. Um, so of course, you know, people are always looking at you like, you're a weirdo, why are you talking to a camera? Um, wow, it's really loud in here. <laughs> it's the fans. Yeah, so, let's go into Walmart and get some groceries. Okay, you guys, so I am done. I didn't get a lot of stuff. I'll show you guys what I got. Not too much stuff. Um, bread. You know, we have groceries in the house. I just bought a few little things. Um, I'm trying to hurry, though, because I know my husband has to go somewhere. So, I am trying to go to the rug section um, 
because I am trying to find a rug for the mudroom. So I want to see if I can find something. I want to see if I can find something. They have the cutest bags. Oh my goodness. Look at that. The cutest summer bags. Look, y'all, these pouches are coming back. <laughs> y'all remember these? Oh my gosh, I used to have these as a kid in the 80s. Hmm. What's been has already been done. What is has already been done, you guys. And it's making a comeback. Everything is making a comeback. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Y'all. Look at all the goodies. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at this, y'all. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Can y'all totally see this like draping down my mantle? Oh, this is absolutely lovely. So gorgeous. This is actually a better Walmart. <laughs> Look at the hydrangeas and the peonies. How vibrant. Oh my gosh. So just to give you guys an insider, this is the color that I am going for. For the fall just to give you an insider tip this is one of them and of course my orange this is so pretty these are my colors for fall and some greens so just a little tip just to let you guys know what I'm thinking up in my brain for fall the deep dark colors this is so pretty this peony oh my goodness this Walmart really have some good selection of florals you guys can you see that some really good selection of florals grab one of these garbage cans so bad but I just can't see myself spending $55 for a garbage can I don't know can you guys justify that why are garbage cans so expensive oh my gosh but I've always wanted one of these um, stainless steel garbage cans and I think that it would go really nicely with my stainless steel appliances but I'm just um, I just can't justify spending $55 on a garbage can, you guys. I mean, there's some here that's for $70. My mom probably would be able to do that, but I don't know. I'm still working it out. <laughs> still working it through.
trying to say um, in this clip that I am going to be doing my dining room um, shelves I had to turn the volume off on the video and turn the music up because Walmart's music was extremely loud for no reason and I did not want to get a copyright strike so I'm just gonna voice over this clip but um, the white and the wood uh, dishware or you know stemware or whatever um that's basically what i'm going to be placing on the those diy shelves once i do do them um and that's basically the theme for my dining room just like my whole house is going to be modern farmhouse chic with a traditional twist so that's what i was trying to explain to you in that clip and then in this clip i didn't find the rug that i was looking for i was looking for more of a black and um, tan rug sort of like the one that I have on the front porch but I did not see it I did see a blue one but I don't want the blue for um, my mud room um, I wanted the black one just to keep in style with the black and the cream the beiges the whites and stuff like that but I thought this one was really really nice but it just wasn't the black and I did like the gray as well but it was way too small so I am definitely going to go and check in Target to see what they have. If not, then I'm going to have to order something online. grocery store and I am making some breakfast right now let me turn this thing down turn it down y'all that I move I move the TV to the kitchen because y'all know I love to have my little entertainment in the kitchen while I cook clean whatever um, it gives great ambiance I think but I um, I'm home now and I'm actually Sorry, Nyla. Okay. I'm actually um, I'm making breakfast all at the same time, but I just bought some new floors that I want to um, I want to put. Let me put you guys right here. Can you guys see me? Hopefully, you guys can see me. So, oh, oops, sorry, baby. Okay. I just bought some new floors that I want to um, put down in the kitchen, in the new guest room, and in the like back hallway going towards the mudroom area um, I'm gonna show it to you guys I feel like it's the only thing that that is laminate that comes close to the walnut floors that I do have and I believe it's called Java walnut I got it from um, Home Depot and it's the traffic master brand and I love traffic master I use all their elam laminates <laughs> I use all their laminate flooring because they're so durable the floor that I have in the mudroom is also Traffic Master and it is super duper durable. Nyla, the pot is hot, baby. It's super duper um, durable and holds up against kids and high traffic, whatever. And it's so easy to keep 
clean. So um, I wanted to definitely bring that in my kitchen and my, you know, the guest room area and the hallway because I feel like the hallway in the, the kitchen um, is very high traffic area for us because we come through the mud room. We don't use the front door. Um, leave that night up. Can y'all see her? <laughs> She's totally messing my vibes up with my YouTube. Hey, leave this stuff alone, girl. What? Um, yeah, and so I just love it. When I saw it, I just, I fell in love with it. I got it for $34 at Home Depot. And I believe it comes, it's six inch, 36 inch, six inch by 36 inch planks and it's 24 planks and it's $34. So I don't think I'm gonna need a lot. I'm probably gonna need a few more boxes, but I'm just, I'm loving you guys. Probably spend like $600 and I get two rooms done across the hallway. That is a steal in my book. So, hey bad boy, did you enjoy your sleep? We put the air conditioner in the house because it was hot yesterday, y'all. I'm telling you. It is so hot. It is so hot. I love it. I'm not complaining. I love it. I'm just telling you. If this is hot, I do not want to go to hell. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> hell is hot. But anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm just here making some sausages. Let me show you guys the, um, the floors. As you can see right now, I can't stand these white floors. And y'all know I'm itching to get them up. Um, I just want to cover them so bad because I feel like I am mopping a hundred times a day because they get dirty so easily. I don't know who thought that putting this floor down was a good idea. It wasn't. Epic fail. But this, these are the floors and it's laminate and it feels, guys, it literally is engineered wood. But it feels like real wood and it looks like real wood. And it is the java the walnut ember java um and it's from the home depot and it's the traffic master self stick vinyl plank and i just love it so much so i'm just gonna put down a few pieces in the hallway starting from down there and see what it looks like hopefully it turns out good so let's let's see what we can do here I'm gonna see if I can pop prop you guys up on a on the stove or something. Um, let's see where I can put you guys. Hey guys, y'all remember my uh, finds from the thrift store? So this is where they're going to be uh, living. Um, I'm gonna do the backsplash. I'm gonna get all this out. I'm keeping my stainless steel, guys. At first, when I saw the stainless steel and the metal cabinets, I was like, oh my gosh, I really have to gut the kitchen. But I'm loving this stainless steel countertop. It is so durable, so easy to keep clean. I could put hot stuff on there. It does not stain. Like, I feel like it's a hundred times, maybe a million times better than granite and any of the, you know, the countertops that are out there, honestly. It is legit so durable and I just absolutely love it. I'm just going to get rid of this thing because it is like, first of all, so ugly, but ugh, I just really want to get rid of it. And I have a sinkerator underneath there that does nothing. <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of that as well. But look how deep this sink is. It is so deep and I'm just loving it, you guys. I can't wait to get rid of this thing. And the dishwasher works so well. I've been using it like twice a day. Um, I load it up in the morning and at night just wash the dishes and it, it works. And my stove works just as well. So anyway, let me see if I can prop you guys up and see if I can um, take you through the process of me doing this thing. I can't find my, can't find my tripod. But let me see if I lay down a few. I'm just going to lay down a few pieces and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, so these are the floors. This is what it looks like so far. I ran out of um, I ran out of the floor tiles, so I have to run out to Home Depot and get some more. 
but this is what it's looking like and I feel like I feel like it gives the area so much life like I just I love it so much and I love the contrast of the darker color with the gray walls and the mirror there it just looks so beautiful and I feel like now because I laid the floor down it has some variations of like black in it so I am definitely going to paint this door black um, I'm gonna paint this door black and I'm gonna paint the basement door black but before I paint this black I'm gonna put some panels on that way it matches up with this so it's basically gonna look like this type of door so this whole door right here is gonna be black and then this is gonna be black and paneled and um, the fixtures I'm going to change out to like a, a brush nickel color I'm going to spray paint them the brush nickel color so I'm very excited about it um, I have to put down the door frame down here lift this up the the gold and put down the wooden one and guys the floors in the bathroom is actually flat so I can literally put the same floors down in here which is exactly what I'm going to do um, this is going to be taken out and I'm just going to put like a, a rustic um, vanity in and just a white counter and then a white toilet and the same wood floors and paint the tiles white and paint the, um, the sheetrock here, paint that white as well. So get a new mirror, a new light fixture this is going to stay i'm just going to take the handles off and paint that um black because i want to get like the black fixtures that's kind of the tone that i'm going through with the house is just like black black fixtures all around so i think it's going to look really nice very simple very modern farmhouse ish and you know still in keeping with my traditional uh, style but I am definitely going to be running the floors in here because I was just like wait a minute the floors are flat I can totally put these tiles on there and it's gonna look beautiful it's gonna look great so can y'all see once the kitchen is done and I'm getting ready to do a video on the kitchen because I'm getting ready to paint these bad boys today I have the, the, the paint and I'm going to paint all the kitchen cabinets <laughs> At first I wanted to put the panels on them to make it like that shaker style, but I think I'm just gonna paint it because I'm tired of seeing the yellow, though yellow is my favorite color. But I just want it to be bright and light and I kinda just wanna be finished, you know, with the kitchen. Though I still have the light fixture, the contrast that contractor has to fix, and the sink faucet has to be taken out. Um, and then these little light things underneath the cabinets has to be taken out and I don't know how to deal with that because it's electrical and I don't want to mess with that so that has to be taken out as well I already have the backsplash let me show you guys let me show you guys the backsplash where is that box with the um the backsplash and stuff in it mm, was that it yeah, yeah. Thanks, babe. Okay, so let me show you guys the backsplash. I didn't even remember that I had these. I had bought them for the daycare to put them up um, in the bathrooms. But I feel like because of the way the house is, um, the colors that's in the kitchen already, I am just going to go with this color. And actually, my husband pointed it out. Um, it goes so well with like the silver countertop and the walls in here. And it's sort of just going to pop against the black uh, fixtures and, you know, the dark floors. So, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It's like a gray and white with silver and it just, it looks really good. And if I put it against, if I put it up against the floor, you kind of can see like a little bit of brownish hue in there 
and it just goes so well I feel like it just pops it pops against the, the color of the floor so and the color in the kitchen is that gray color so I definitely just want to keep in tone with the light the light and bright and airy feel um, I don't want to I don't want to go dark I just want everything to be light and bright um, so I'm excited I'm getting ready to paint these cabinets and I'm getting ready to do a video so you guys can see how I do that and I'm so excited about the floors you guys I just love it and I love the way that it looks like coming off of the kitchen into the mudroom it just looks so good and it, it blends really nicely with this tile as well so I'm telling you guys y'all can y'all can fix your house up for for little to nothing you don't have to spend a boatload of money just just figure out the style that you want and go out there and you know get the, the products and stuff like that because Home Depot does have the products and Lowe's have it as well for very inexpensive you really can renovate your house very inexpensively you don't have to pay all these crazy prices that these crazy contractors out there are uh, charging people and you know robbing people and stuff like that so anyway I am so loving it I am in love with these floors and I am going to run to Home Depot and get me some more boxes because after I am done painting these cabinets I am going to lay down the rest of my floors so hopefully I can get it done before the day is out and make it work so I'm excited you guys but I am actually going to end this vlog right here because I feel like I have enough footage um, but I am going to end the vlog right here and I hope that you guys are having a fantabulous Saturday and I hope that you you know spent it very well though the Saturday is not over it's only 1248 1246 but um, I feel like I have enough footage already for the morning but I will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like what you've seen. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Please subscribe. I would love if you can do that. It is free. Um, and don't forget to hit that bell for new notifications. Press on the all notification tab so that you can get all the videos whenever I upload. I upload daily. And I'm she does, and it's beautiful, and you need to subscribe <laughs> to Regal Designs by Shoshana. <laughs> He's so crazy. I gotta get my chicken. <laughs> but um, yeah, go ahead and hit that, that bell and the all notification tab so that you can get all the videos when I do put them up. And I'm going to get going on this kitchen so I can get this video up for y'all. So yeah, let me, let me get to it and I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Don't forget that Jesus is Lord and that Jesus loves you and I do too, child. Love you guys. Have a blessed Saturday. Two, three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm